Have you ever tried studying in a brown house? The TV is always blasting and people are constantly yelling, yet somehow you're expected to get straight A's. Ugh, that doesn't work. Mm, come on, Divya. You can do this. It's here. What's here? Your acceptance letter from the university. You already opened it? Of course. They are giving you a full scholarship. Now you will be a doctor, Div. That's great. Why aren't you more excited? No, Mom, wait, no. What is this nonsense? Are these jokes? I've been practicing comedy and I really like it, Mom. I think I want to do stand-up. Are you kidding? Do you want to give a bad name to our family? How so? There are tons of successful brown comedians. Adam W., Mindy Kaling, and Devin Hart. No, you are going to be a doctor, not some bloody comedian. Now get back to studying. For what? Stanford's already accepted me. Does it matter? You still need to be valedictorian at your school. So no more wasting time. Are these jokes? <laughs> Something like that. They're really dumb. <laughs> you write this? Is it that obvious? What do you mean? They're really funny. <laughs> so you're into comedy then? Yeah. I want to be a comedian one day and maybe even have my own Netflix special. That's amazing. But isn't your major pre-med? No, it's actually tent making. Wait, are, are you serious? <laughs> Come on, I'm Indian. I was basically born pre-med. <laughs> hey, you could have very well been a tent making major. <laughs> you know what? I just got back from the student involvement fair and apparently there's a comedy club here. They're having an open mic tomorrow at six. You should go. Wow. I don't know. I've never done stand-up before. Well, here's your chance. <laughs> yeah. It's just that my mom's really not on board with this. She wants me to be a doctor, just like my dad. Not sure how she'll feel about this. Look, you can't do things just to please your mom. Besides, I'm sure your dad won't mind if you are a doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I just... I wish he was still here. My dad, he always told me to follow my dreams and not anyone else's. I just wish my mom felt the same. Oh, wait. Your dad? He passed away a few years ago. I'm so sorry. But. Maybe that's even more reason for you to go to the open mic. Mom, you can't just come in here whenever you want. You at least have to knock. <laughs> Nonsense, we're Indian, we don't knock. Anyway, I just ran into a wonderful doctor in the supermarket. I told him all about you, and he said that he lets pre-med students work in his office. It's perfect. What's this? Comedy club? Not this again. 
You don't have time for some silly club. You have to study. Yeah, but mom, I want to do other things too. My whole life can't be all about studying. Yes, it can. Your cousin Preeti started med school at 20. You need to catch up. Yeah, but mom... No I... daughter of mine is going to waste her life being a jokester. Anyway, you will meet with the doctor tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. I've already set it up. Six? I have something going on at that time. What could be more important than this? Cancel your plans. But mom, I, I don't want to hear it, Div. This is your future we're talking about. Now make sure you get there early. I brought you more paratas. I'll see you tomorrow. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I can't believe she'd do this. What do you think I should do? If I'm being honest, I think you should listen to your dad on this one. You're right. Thank you. And that is why you never date two girls who work at the same fast food restaurant. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Hobie. And uh, next up, we have Divya. Now, this is her first time performing, so let's welcome her to the stage with a warm round of applause. Finally, I thought you weren't gonna show. Listen, Divya, something happened. Tell, okay, tell me later. I gotta go. Just wish me luck. Divya! No. Thank you, everyone. My name is Divya, and I'm a freshman at Stanford, and I'm pre-med. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I've been training my entire life for this. While other kids were at pre-K, Desi kids were at PSAT prep. And while other babies were learning to walk, Daisy kids were training to become mini Meredith Grays. And while other kids' first words were dada and bye bye, Daisy kids' first words were push 10 of Epi. <laughs> I mean, now don't get me wrong, Indian parents love their kids. It's just conditional love. You know, as long as I was getting straight A's and winning spelling bees, I had nothing to worry about. But if I came home with an A minus, my mother would erase me from her memory completely. You know, like we would be at the supermarket and people would say, oh, is that your daughter? And my mother would say, no, that is not my daughter. That is some girl who brings home A minus. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I don't mean to put my mom in a bad light, but if she were here... Did you... Mom? Meet me outside. Now! I I'm so sorry. I, I should get going. I gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Uh, don't worry, the show's gonna continue in just a minute. How could you do that to me? You humiliated me in front of everyone. You humiliated? I'm the one who's humiliated. Finding you at some club instead of the dinner with the doctor. You're an hour late. Mom, I told you I had plans today. And besides, I don't even know that doctor and neither do you. What disgraceful behavior. Now get yourself together so we can go. We'll tell him that, that you were lost and you couldn't find the place. I don't even want to go. What, do you want to stay here and keep doing this nonsense? Why do you have such a problem with me doing this? Because it's a distraction. You need to be focused if you want to be a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor. You want me to be a doctor. Listen, Mom, I don't want to be a doctor. 
And I don't want to go to college. I want to be a comedian. I love making people laugh and I know I can be successful doing it. Just, just give me a chance. You want to drop out of school and chase some silly dream? Go ahead and fail then. Just know that you are bringing great shame on this family. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna come with me to meet the doctor or not? You are making a huge mistake. I don't wanna see your face anymore. where I was. No, no, she must have seen it on the flyer. But I did see her in the parking lot. I tried to warn you, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just tired of hiding this from her. You've been an awesome friend and roommate, even if it's the first week of school. If it wasn't for you, I would have never come here tonight. What are you saying? I'm, I'm dropping out of college. What? Are, are, are you sure this is the right decision? Just for a semester, I have to at least try to give this comedy thing a real shot. And if it doesn't work out, I can always re-enroll. Oh, wow. Okay, um, I'll miss you as my roomie. <laughs> but I believe in you, Divya. Thanks for everything, Jasmine. Oh, I can't wait to see you on the big stage one day. <laughs> While still second guessing her decision, Divya drops out of college to pursue her dream. She ends up getting a job at a local cafe to help pay her bills. During her downtime, she practices her jokes every chance she gets. She continues to do stand-up comedy at open mics whenever she can. She gets more and more comfortable performing her jokes and keeps getting better. As time goes on, more people hear about this new comedian in town that's making everyone laugh. Her jokes are a big hit and the audience goes wild. Eventually, she even gets approached by one of her favorite comedians, Devin Hart, who offers to collaborate with her. Divya can't believe it. Several months later, Divya ends up selling out big shows. You were amazing tonight. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. Would you mind signing this for me? Of course not. There you go. Thank you so much. Oh Come on, let's, oh, come on. let's get you two cards. Thank you. Bye. Oh my gosh, you win! I'm sorry, ma'am, but you can't. No, be... it's okay. That that's my mom. Can you guys give us a moment? It's been a long time. Too long. How did you know I was here? Are you kidding? You're all over the place. It's impossible to miss. And you're even on the billboards. So I decided to buy a ticket to the show. Wait, you came to see my show? I actually thought it was very funny, Divya. Wow. Thanks. I, I wasn't expecting that from you. I was wrong about your comedy. I thought being a doctor was the only way to be successful. <laughs> Clearly, I was wrong. I am so sorry. Mom! <laughs> I have something to show you. Is that that? 
God. Dad was a comedian too. That's where you get it from. He wanted so badly to be a comedian, but his family wanted him to be a doctor. He didn't want to shame them, so he gave up his dream. I didn't want to admit it before, because it hurt too much. If he saw that I did the same thing to you, he wouldn't be happy. You're funny, just like him, you know? Even the mom jokes. <laughs> Even the mom jokes, Deb. Your father would be so proud. So am I. <laughs> but we do need to have a talk about a few of those jokes that I don't find so funny. <laughs> Did you say I was controlling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Is that even a real question? <laughs> <laughs> Are you into rock and roll at all? Yeah, I love rock. Why? I'm playing at Sal's and would love for you to come. What do we have here? We already have plans. Get that back. Got us four front row tickets to the big <laughs> hip hop concert. Because I know how much my baby loves hip hop. That's some dumb wannabe rock music, but 